not a financial advisor, but if I was, this is what I'd like to see on this. We should see a, um, a pull back to the red line and then back up. The problem is we just had that on Germany just a minute ago. So um, let me see on this one. See your NAS, SPX, and your German. See, this is the issue. The German had pulled back. Wish I'd have been up about an hour ago. So uh, be careful. Don't be in the trades yet. Make sure you put your bicep slightly above where it is currently and bring it down as the trade comes down. Uh, see, now this is dipped down below where this is at. So put your NAS 100 and your, uh, you can put your SPX right in there. I don't give a fuck. You put it right on top of that. Again, we're, we're risking it. And I wouldn't touch the Germany right now. It's already made its moves. Um, the US 30, obviously keep above and don't let it get close. You do not want to get stung this morning. And that's the only thing I don't like is that this isn't to the point of touching. See right here it was. I'm assuming you both, can you see both my lines here? Let me see here, sorry. Yeah, German 30 in the way today. Yeah, it usually does, the German 30, or it, it, especially on the big moves, it does. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, oh, sorry, I'm talking people in this thing. Let me go back over here, hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was talking to people in the thing, and no one's there. Ah. All right, so here we go. Uh, I am live. I should tell everybody I got to send out that thing. Damn, everyone gets pissed when I don't send that thing out. Hold on. All right. Well, let me send out my little notice. Uh, let's see. We need to head over to here. And again, these are not, this is early morning safety trades. <laughs> I'd be very leery. This isn't during our time frame. This is just early, early. But if this scoots, scoots down and touches, we are absolutely getting in this trade, huge. Now the problem comes in, it's already up over the four hour. Um, at this point, um, the, uh, uh, how many pips did we make yesterday? Was it 3,800? Um, and uh but we i'd like to see a little bit more of a pullback before we get too far into this but we'll see um oh you know what i just thought of something <laughs> oh shit i don't have the uh i don't what's the mailing list one Fuck. Uh, alerts, 242 people. I don't know if I can send them all to one person. Does that how that works on the Google thing? All right, guys. Let's see how many we can send to. All right. So that went out. Don't want to hear it from any way that the alert did not go out. Uh, let's see this one. I don't know how many people it took. It might not have took everybody. I think we're getting up to the limit. All right. So let's take a um, gander. Good morning. What's up, Ken? Some sleep, Kevin. Huh? Just you and I don't. <laughs> yeah. What's up, buddy? You were kind of quiet yesterday. I'm glad to see you this morning. Did you get my messages? Dustin Bowles. I don't know. Just got the alert. Uh, good morning, safety trade. Oh, that's me. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, that must be me watching through here. <laughs> um, did I get your message? I don't think so, Dustin. You have to send it to the official email. Somebody were on the Discord. Yeah, I saw. Um, I'd appreciate since you guys are moderators, Ken. I was going to mention that to Tommy, too. I hope he's not mad at me for something. He seems awfully quiet these days. But anyway, um, I apologize if I ever say anything to offend him or something. You could tell him. Well, I'll tell him, too. But anyway, um, yeah, just uh, pop in over there since you guys are moderators on Discord and you know say hi and how you guys are doing with your trades and stuff. It's good to talk amongst everybody while you're there, if you don't mind. No big deal, but uh, that'd be awesome if you guys could help out with that. 
I already had my one-on-one. We were busy with our real job yesterday. <laughs> Again, no real jobs. Stop. Um, but yeah, so uh, these are some buy stops right above. Always pull them down as it comes down. Uh, again, I would like a retouch of these on the five minute, um, but you know, you'd always get what you want. Uh, but again, the German 30 already went down and touched and I loved it. And the German 30 is heading to its, uh, 30 minute blue line. So that's where we are with that. Um, let me check my U S 30 and our U S thirties, um, our, uh, ones, let me move this over here. And, uh, are steadily going oh already just hit the 50 minute fuck why do i have to sleep anywho yeah this is a challenge i hope it bounces back down and then goes back up but we shall see uh and again long term put your place your cell stops in order for long term trust me on this one i do not see if we're look at the long term charts guys we're already up over the four hour red line shit already forming a four hour safety trade on us 30 Boy, I'd be careful on this one. Now, I'd like it to reload ultimately on the daily and keep going up, but I think we got a ways on that. I think it meandered to the four line, and now it's about the four hour line. It's about to drop. All right, forty six people at four fifty in the morning. You guys go. Wow, damn! I should go on line when I'm up at three o'clock in the morning. Then. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, we were busy with the real jobs. Ken, you ain't got no real job. <laughs> morning hitting the gym oh good good job yeah i'm gonna do mine right after this i'm just gonna make some calls and get the hell out of here uh let's see let me go back over to discord and say live now live now just so everyone knows over at the discord um uh let's see i put safety trade on some live rooms this morning oh cool i put the safety trade on some live rooms this morning Really? How do I find that? <laughs> I know nothing about. Thank God for Tommy. Um, morning, uh, morning, Harris. How was your training yesterday, Harris? Uh, but yeah, I have no idea. You put it on live? How do I see that? I don't know. This court is weird to me. I see a VIP voice chat, Paycheck Blues. Uh, but at any rate, everyone should have their buy stops in place accordingly. Um. Let's see. I don't know. <laughs> Training was great. Replay is eye opening. There you go, Harris. Super nice guy, by the way. Harris is extremely nice. Uh, yeah, he he's gonna do well. I can tell he's gonna do well. All right. Let's see if we're live on my YouTube. I even checked that. You guys should already have your things. And oh yes, looks like we're streaming. YouTube is obviously always a better picture. But we see what I'm seeing over there and hearing. So I can be clear that I'm on it or not. When I don't check it, then always it's always some kind of BS where, you know, the picture isn't clear, the picture isn't on. Hell, I don't even know if I'm on thing. Ah, shit. And I got to get in here too, just in case some buttholes come in. Hold on. There's so many things that you guys think we just go live. I wish I go live in like 10 different places. <laughs> check everything. Oh, well. All right. Uh, maybe it'll get easier. 287. Yeah, almost at 300 subscribers. I need to. It's pretty good a couple weeks. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, okay. So we're live over here. That's awesome. Any trade for yes? Lussie B, you need to have the system so you can answer your own question there. Lussie is asking, is there any trades um, for Naz? And once she learns how to trade, he learns how to trade. for who that is. We say good morning. Yes, there is one minute safety trade. Should be just calling it abbreviation. And that's on all. And that's on all. Morning, Rishi. All right, so here we go. I don't even know where everything's at, but we're close enough to argument's sake. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's pull this over so I can see the chat for you guys. And this is going to be our thing. Kev, have you, have you got a buy for NAS above structure? Yes, Zane, I do. I went to 
some live rooms and put it in your site. Tell folks what you do. Oh, okay, Ken. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ken. That's awesome. Appreciate that. Ken's such a good guy. Um, not sure. He does so many things. He's very on top of things. <laughs> I wish I was like that one day. Um, all right. Well, that's all. All right. Buy stop is above for US 30. Correct. Is above structure. And you can move this down. Definitely. The NAS, the SPY, absolutely. Matter of fact, I think I'm engaged on the SPY. I have my old trade up from yesterday. I just want to show you that I held this one for like eight hours or something. 261 pips on NAS yesterday. I just wanted to show you guys that. That's all. Uh, again, the German 30, you can do, but it's already ridden. I wish we'd have caught this one earlier on the German 30. That kind of annoys me. All right. Um, I want to go ahead and look at something. I didn't look at ERUSD yesterday. I don't know why. Uh, it looks like to me a nice little buy stop. Let me check that right here. Oh, we just missed a beautiful Udashef down. ERUSD is probably going to be, yeah. Uh, you could do a buy stop in ERUSD on the one minute. Uh, let me check this out, though, on a little higher time frames. Uh, ERUSD is coming down in the five minute. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Why does that look so much freaking different? What the? Oh, because I'm too far pulled in again. Damn. I hate when I do that. Much better. That's what you want to see on the five minute. All right, let's go back down to the one minute again. Uh, yeah, feel free. Let me see this right here. Now, again, we're waiting for that US third and everything to do what it's doing on the five minute on ERUSD. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is still a buy. Let's look at gold real quick. Uh, please say nope, we're not gonna get luck on that one. And we're not going to get any luck on this. And still a buy stop on gold. Uh, you can put your buy stop on gold at 1709.45. Uh, let me see a little higher time frame for gold real quick. Uh, yep. 15 minutes confirming. 30 minutes it crossed. Oh, it hit the one hour. Boy, that's awesome yesterday. Next stop would be the four hour. Uh, possible. Yeah, that four hour push, you can come up to that. Yep. Uh, absolutely. I'm in sales for cash if you see it going down today. I got the reason for not going beyond 15, such as one hour daily for confirmation. You only confirm the next time frame up, period. If it doesn't confirm, you don't take the trade, uh, Harris. You never go up to the one hours if you're doing a five minute or a one minute trade. Let's put it that way. You'll be stung every time. I'm in sell for Cat Chef. Yes, sir. Let me check Cat Chef and I'm going to come back to US Oil then. Uh, Cat Chef. Uh, oh, do I not have that one open? Some bitch. Well, I don't think I do. New Zealand Chef. Yeah, I don't have it. Let me check here. Um, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Symbols. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Exotics, majors, I think you're across, right? Um, FX cross. See. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. What it, let me see. Let me put it up here. You have in for a sell short term or long term? Obviously, you're in the money. <laughs> you should be really in the money. Yeah, this isn't. If you made this call, Zane, at uh, 11 o'clock, Perfect call. That was a perfect state. Look at this cat chef that he caught. Am I on thing? Can you guys see both charts? Yes. All right. Let's take a look. See at this one. What what he did was I think is what he's playing is off the five. This is just perfect. Oh, I wish we would have caught this. Why am I sleeping? All right. Look right here. Um, I have to change all that up there. Sorry, I got to get in it. But watch what he did. I'm assuming this is what he did. Price is over. Came below. Went back up and retouched and shot down. This is the safety trade to prove that right here. You'll see where this line right here, you had a sell stop here. This is the obvious red, 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 green. And I'm sure this is why I played anyways. I thought it had been up or saw it is right here. He should have got in somewhere around 1117 at 
72727. Yeah, I've been in for about an hour, and that would be correct. 12 o'clock to 11. That's correct. Perfect call, Zane. I'm in sell. Should I hold on gold sell? Uh, I don't think you should be selling gold at the moment. That's correct. Now, you can long term on like a four hour chart, but again, people hate waiting days for trades and stuff. So just don't do it. Yeah. You, I mean, that's awesome play this morning. I don't know how many pips this is because it is an it is a uh, 4X, but still, oh, 27 pips. That's awesome. Perfect play. Perfect play right here. You can see it from a mile away. Literally can see it. I mean, that is just perfect. Look at that. Boom, boom. And down to the blue line on top of it. Let me see how long you should hold it for. Yeah. Hold that down to here, Zane. I would hold it. Not a financial advisor. Blah, blah. 0 0.72141. That's so another. You probably got another. What is that? 20? 20 to 30 pips left in that cell. Awesome play on that. Good call. Good catch. Um, Dustin, did I answer your question, Dustin? You said, what did Dustin ask if I got his email? I don't know what that means. I already had my one-on-one. -on -one. So that's cool. I'm not sure what you're asking, Dustin, but yeah. Um, if you're finished up, you can go to any training then, um, by all means. I don't know what, what, I don't have an email from you that I need to respond to anyways that I see. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a great job. Uh, let's see. You probably are engaged on your trades, on your indices, or at least on your... Um, let me see something real quick. I want to go back. Yeah, you should be in the money on your SPY. You should be in your money on your NAS and probably even in money on the US 30 right now. All right, so let's go back to oil. And see what we have going on in oil. What a mess. Uh, this is a buy to me. Let's see where we're heading to. Negative on the oil. Uh, short term. I only got a fruit fly in here for. Not liking it. Let's go a little higher. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hit to the 30. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can get to the hourly. Most likely. Look at that beautiful little one. That's beautiful right there. Um, yeah, I would say buy on oil, but I wouldn't do it right now. There's no point. There's no true safety trade that I see set up. Let me see. That. Nice little pull up. Now, do not get confused with oil. <laughs> it's got to go up on its day, it looks like. Oh, oh, my bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me see that daily. See, the only thing, yeah, it still hasn't gone down to the 72 mark, but come on now. We called 74, 72 and hit the 74 mark. I'm going to stay out of oil right now. I don't see anything I like anyways. Bitcoin. Uh, let me go down to here, by the way. So Bitcoin, negative, negative, still a downer. Uh, Long-term, hour, hour. You just missed the push up to the one hour. That's a safety trade went to the one hour line. Will it go to the four hour line? I mean, I'd like it to. It's already passed it. Bitcoin's funny anyways. I'm going to stay out of Bitcoin. I don't like doing the fees. Oh, this is a buy stop, by the way. Total buy stop on it. Bitcoin, if you want to do that. I'm not going to even mark it. I'm not going to play that. USD, JPY. Yay, maybe get some options. Nothing five minute, one minute. This look over. This is a sell stop. If anything, for USD JPY, let me up the time frames here and see what we got. This is sell stop. Yes, sell stop. Yes. Um, hmm. Boy, it's been rising so good though. Hmm. I think pull back to the daily is what it's doing now, but I'm staying out of that. That's a mess too. Screw that shit. Unless it's specifically obvious, I'm not touching them. All right, so let's go to the five minute. This is odd USD. Uh, now that looks like a pretty good buy stop to me. Let me see what we got going on with that. Uh, 15, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four hour. Oh, see, that's another problem. See what it did? 
Damn, look at that daily. That was a beautiful call. I just wish they would just line up like that. I ain't got time for that. So four hours. So now you're looking at a odd USD short term up. But this four hour is a beautiful looking down to me. Look at this shit. I would keep a sell stop in place and just wait. Let me see something on our, you can see that just pecking. Is this a little green spot going down here? Yeah, I, I mean, I would put a sell stop in odd USD. I might go do an option on this one, actually. Might have to do a long term one. But uh yeah, I would. GPC is just for me safe trade in one minute. We had a meeting for 1 p.m. yesterday. Uh all right, Dustin. So I'm confused. I really rather not talk about that stuff here, Dustin. If you can go ahead and email me and keep it there, that'd be awesome. We're trying to stay focused on trading and the bigger picture here. So just go ahead and email me and we can discuss everything you have um i don't know you want me to look to see if you had a 1 p.m yesterday i don't know brie handles the scheduling 1 p.m yeah we met what i'm confused no you no called no show first time you were sent an email multiple times on how to do it you must not have known how to add to uh come into the meeting literally i sent out the uh no call no show first time myself i waited till 15 after for you to join you never came into the Google Meet. Now, if you didn't know how or anything, that's up to you. Just email me and I'll explain that and we'll reschedule you. But no, you literally had a no-call, no-show. You should be charged at least $50 for your next appointment. I won't do that to you. But yeah, you, that was very not cool to not show up for your appointment. So um, yeah, just go ahead and email me and we'll talk about it there. But you absolutely missed. Uh, basically wasted my time for 10, 15 minutes never showed and I sent multiple emails out to you. I know Bree did in the morning and I did right for a meeting and I did right after you no called no showed me. So to be specific with you, I don't know what happened. I don't know if you don't understand what a Google Meet is. We can talk about that in email, okay? All right. Uh good morning, Muhammad. Uh let's see where the heck are we? Hopefully you guys haven't entered into any of the trades, especially the US 30. Now the spy go ahead and be in again, I don't care about that one. I still am fully expecting on it. Now, the odds USD. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put in an odds USD. We already had it. Okay, a boy, I don't think I'm getting through to you. Dustin Bolds, please do not keep talking about it here. I'm tired in the morning. I'm trying to go through these so I can help people out make money. If you need any help, email me or Bree, and I'll be glad to help you there. And then uh, if that was a misappointment, Dustin, or you, you're saying you already had the appointment and that was a misscheduling, you should have emailed me back and let me know. Why am I talking about this? I'm not talking about it. All right, Dustin, if you're not going to listen to what I'm saying about emailing me information about this, I'm going to go ahead and take care of it. So please go ahead. And if you have any issues with anything that's not regarding this uh, trading, then just save it and email me and ask me questions there. Okay. Oh, my God. Like that's for the third time. I know I'm tired, but I'm not going to do this. I'm just not. So anywho, um, yeah, uh, I don't even know where the fuck I was. Oh, I'm going to go over to Nadex and I'm going to see about getting an option for odds USD, dropping it below where ent where the current price is. Uh, Nadex covers mainly only the full on ones, uh, big ones. Uh, you can't really get the off. Forex pairs in there, but usually I can pull off uh, these first few here. So let me take a look over at my Forex and see. I know it is there. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. They even got the weekly and everything. Hell yeah. Let me see something. Help me with management. No, I don't need any help. <laughs> Let's see the $56 one. Oh, hell no. Which one this? They want to charge that much for that? Hell no. $40, fine. Um, Let me see. Have we crossed over? Yeah, I'm going to put this weekly in. What the hell? I'll lose. I'll gain about 40. I'll probably stop the loss at around 10 or 20. So there we go. All right. Um. And that's all the industry chart. Okay, so that's odds USD. There should be a sell stop in place. Uh, one hour sell stop in place at 0 0.64552. Okay, so that's odds USD. 
TVP USD. Uh, don't like it. Um, looks like we had a buy stop in place. Nope. Careful of that US 30. Looks like we're dipping down. Be careful on these. I told you we need to see a pullback on that. So be very, very careful. Let me go back up there real quick and pull up a one minute chart. So these ones right here. Oh, great. Now it's going to fall. Yeah. So this one right here on uh, US 30 and all of them then be very. So you want to see this pullback to this line. I think I drew that out earlier. This is what you want to see. You want to see this come down and then hook back up. So you want to see this come down and then hook back up. That would be a much safer play than what it's been doing. So hopefully none of you are in that trade. Maybe the SPY, and you might have lost out five pips or something. I don't know. You see that right there? That's too far away anyways. Just let it come down to the five-minute form, a five-minute safety trade like it did about, I don't know when this was, maybe an hour ago. Oh, shit. No, that's like seven hours ago. <laughs> um, but at any rate, uh, let these all pull back because they're all none of them were touching. That's the problem. I don't know if the NAS fell like that. But you just have to let these play down a little bit and then get now the spy is fine. If you were in, I was in the spy, I'm sure I tapped out. Yeah, you might have lost six, seven pips on that trade. I'm um, on the spy. But again, the German 30, it's just juggernauting upward. So yeah, be in place for this. Just let it come down a little bit. We got to, the whole way this thing works, see how this is looking right now? Is you wait for prices, all, prices way down here somewhere, it comes up. It's going to come over, touch this red line, and come back up. You'll see this one either turn red and these stay green, or you'll see it get really, really low, and then it hooks back up. So that's all. Um, I would keep those buy stops in and move them down as the orders come through. Okay. Uh, this is catch pan. Oh, let's see. That was odd. Where were we? Odd USD, GPB USD. I think we just got done with GPB USD, but let me see how that looks right now. Let a little GPB USD go down. Beautiful. Yep, it's going to go down and touch its blue line. And then it's going to, let's see, we're going to probably get a hook on this. I might even buy one on this one. Oh, yeah. It's going to go down a little further, too. Wow, look at all the power of these things. Mm, still going to shoot up more on the daily. So yeah, the one hour. Uh, you do what you guys want on this one. I'm very. I'm going to go ahead and get just one little tiny option on that one too, just to see how she rolls out. We're already in the money on my odd USD, by the way, up $2, the one I just made, which isn't much, but I'll take it. GPP USD, uh, 4X. GPP, I'm over on Nadex, and I go under currency pairs, and we're going to go ahead and do a buy on this one. Let's see if we're going to do in the money negative. Yeah, we're going to do 54. So I might make $45. I might lose about 10, 20. I always limit my losses on those by watching them. Is your left chart five minutes? It is. No. Uh, which left chart? The far left is an hour. The far left is one minute. The left chart right here on the TikTok is why well, change it, but that's 15 minutes or five minutes. I usually run five minutes though, right here. So that's GPP USD. Nothing for you guys to play, by the way. Euro Japan. Let's see if we have anything here. 15 minute going down the touch. One hour already has touched. Four hour up. I mean, if anything, you're gonna you're gonna see an up. Let me see where this thing's going. Nope, not there. Oh yeah, nice. And it just crossed too. That's really nice. That Euro Japan. We're too late in. I'm not gonna bother with it. But that's a really nice little push up. Um, ultimately, nothing. Well, it is a buy stop, but that's nothing we're gonna do. GBB JPY. Look at that nice little push down. Let me go over here to the five minute. Uh, yep, beautiful. Now, don't forget this US 30 and everything. We have long term cells in place for all these, all our indices the US 30 and NAS, uh, German and the uh, uh, spy. So keep that in mind when you're doing all your trades. 
Oh, if you're a Discord, I warned everybody about that too, but I don't think we're there yet. I think that's going to happen a little later. More than Anthony. Yeah, five minute on TikTok. Sorry. I usually keep that chart on the five minute. All right. So let's see over here. GBJPY said that. Uh, what do we end up with? Let me see what this thing is on. Up. Daily even. That is a nice little push right here. Oh, didn't see where it was going to. All right. So let's see if we got anything short term. Buy forming on the five minute with GBJPY. I'm going to hold on that because I believe our blue line below there it is. We already rode that up. Look at that. We already rode that up a long time. At any rate, we're skipping that one. Odge, Japan. I already went down touch. It's going to go down further down to the blue line right here. That's a pretty easy call. Let's see where we're at on everything else. Dipping. Don't care. Went up to 30. Screamed up and touched the one. This is a sell stop. Let me pull this up. So this is four hours. Go to one hour. Sell stop. Let me make sure on this. Verify. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a really strong up play. But mm, you could put a sell stop in anyways. There's no reason why you can't. Odds Japan. You put a sell stop. Long-term play. This is going to be hours upon hours, if at all, if it ever hits. But yeah, it's too far away. Let me see where that four-hour is real quick. Oh, it already touched the four-hour. Oh, shit. I would still keep my sell stop in here on the four-hour. Put a sell stop at 93.351 and just wait on that one. EUR, GPB. We already see it. Let me see. We're going to go down to one-hour. Touch the one out. Damn, gone. Fine. They break this shit when we're sleeping. It's kind of unfair. Well, I shouldn't say that because then we get the indices. <laughs> All right. Uh, one minute, five minute. Negative on this. Uh, you're probably going to see a push up to the five minute line in ER GBP, but I don't deal in probabilities. 15 minute. Let's see the 30. So this is the 15 minute. Uh, boy, that would have been nice. See, it just crossed over right here. I still see a sell stop for this. Is it strong enough for me to want to take it? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, I see. We already hit the one. See, this is the problem when you hit the daily. This is the absolute problem I'm talking about. See, when we call the thing, we bring it all the way to the daily line, then it starts fucking around. I can get you guys to the daily every time, no problem. And I'm staying out of that. I don't like it. Let's see what, oh, it's silver. I know one place silver. I'm going to go to CAD Japan. Let's see if we can see the hourly here. One hour. We're going to run through these real quick. Negative. Negative. Mm, negative. All right, touch the one minute. Mm-mm. Not comfortable with any of these plays. Let me check the four hour real quick. We made so much money on this. I remember the CAD Japan last week. Oh my God, it was like printing and not touching it. Don't like it. EuroCAD. EuroCAD. Let's do the higher time frames really quick. Four hour, one hour. Uh, let me see something down here. Uh, negative on that at all. Yeah, this is a buy stop. Uh, yeah, buy stop on this. I can't do it. So you can do a buy stop on this. And let me see something here. And it's already touched the four hour anyways. Oof. Ultimately, this is sell, still a sell stop position. Uh, has it gone up and touched it? No, it has not. Yeah, this is so short term buy to go up and touch um, your weekly uh, red line. This is weekly. You guys are going to die. And then, yeah, this is still a buy. This is a short-term buy right here. Absolutely. Why not? So you can put a buy stop in right here above this. Um, let me take this one off. So I get confused. Your buy stop would be around 1.3457 and ride that up until it retouches this again. And that's how I play that one. Now, long-term, that's going to go down, but you're talking about weeks, so that's ridiculous. We'll make more money on that before it happens. 
EUR Aj, EUR Aj didn't take. Let me see this. Uh, where the hell? Oh, I'm pulling the wrong one. My bad. All right. Long term, short term. Oh, we're already past the four. I already broke it. Let's see on the daily. Uh, yep. Is it gone up and touched it? Nope. Euro odds is going up to touch the daily. And then uh, and then it's going to be coming straight back down again. Let me tell you that. Uh, yeah, there's no way. So this is a short-term play up to that daily blue line, which is it's not even enough pips way to even play. What is that? Oh, shit. Never mind. That's a couple hundred. That's a couple hundred. Uh, yeah, I don't know on that one. I would kind of stay off that one. But it's still, that's the play. You can see it from a mile away. Look. Boom, look at that great four hour. Damn. One hour. Four hour. Yeah, that is still a buy. That is absolutely still a buy. Buy stop on that uh, short term. Okay, let's skip over to the next ones. New Zealand Chef. We made a ton of money on that. Uh, wow, that looks really good. Uh, this is a four hour safety trade forming. Yeah, look at the power. Wow, that thing shoots the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to go up probably and touch the red line here. So New Zealand Chef's going to go back up a little bit probably for the next day or so. But you can have a sell stop underneath here and wait for this thing to come down by all means. Uh, I would put it on the four-hour chart, though. Let me make sure it's over here, too. So that's the one I usually use in the evenings. Yeah, move this up. Or you could already made money and sold that, by the way. It looked like a dip below it. This is a sell stop. 0.55946 and just wait and be patient. But it's absolutely a sell stop. Just wait here and be patient. Don't get caught in anything. Excellent play on that. And CAD, uh, let's see if it did what we wanted to. I believe this is what Watch's Face wanted right here. Yeah, we're still dipping down. I think you still made some money. Has it gone down and touched the five minute? No. So the most likely scenario on this one is this. Let me show you. So the CAD chef right here is going to do this for you in case you oh it's already touching the blue oh nice never mind uh we just crossed it so yeah i would uh your cat chef should do this well we'll do this doesn't matter what we think this is what it does price is over came down immediately rechallenged it's going to come back over to the red and come down again your red's going to drop down like this so in other words this is probably going to come up a little bit like this and then come back down and hook and almost likelihood way really they should let it fall so i hope you guys caught that um, that's what that looks like. Uh, Tesla, don't care about Amazon. Keep buying. What's XRP doing? Oh, look at a little XRP, a little engine that could. All right, XRP. Keep buying Amazon. Keep buying XRP. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's what I do personally. So take that to whatever it's worth. Okay, we're up to XRP five minute. We're over the 15 minute. That's a good sign. 30 minute. Where are we heading? That ain't good. Ah, shit. Come on now. And that's not good either. I'm guessing it's below. Yep. Son of a bitch. Four hour. Yeah, see, there's some hope right there. There's the four hour. Let me go over here to the one hour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And no. Damn. Maybe it's pulling back to, uh, I don't know what. Fuck. I don't want to go too far out here. XRP up. XRP going up. Uh... Uh, see, it still hasn't, unfortunately for XRP, it still hasn't gone down and touched its monthly low. Um, it has touched the daily, and that's the one we called straight up, and the, I mean the weekly, and we called the daily up. See, this is the one we called right up to there. Ha, other than that, no, negative. I'm not going to an XRP, even though I own it. I wouldn't trade it right now either, or, and I'm not going to look at IBM. So let's go back up to our indices, see what's going on over there daily already went down and touched that's what we got us to very easily we're seeing a five minute oh yeah i see it now yep see that's what it's doing this is a one hour we don't care about that shit right at the moment this is a buy stop i'd move your buy stop down uh not on not on us 30 yes i would leave your your nas right there your spy you can move all the way down here and then move that into a buy stop situation on SPY at 3,728. Um, although personally, yeah, watch, watch and see. I'd be very leery on any of these other buys. 
very literally because I can see this easily tapping right here and going straight down to the blue line. That's what I think is going to happen. It's going to go up like this, come over, come down, and go to the blue line. Then we'll see an up later, uh, probably anyways. That I can just see that. It just looks to me like that's going to be the case. If not, take that ride up and run with it. XRP at this time is pretty much the only one you should be fooling around with. Uh, let me see the US 30 again. I mean, if you really want to push this one, you can. I'll, I'll mark some of those buy stops in there on that. See, that US 30 is looking like the same thing. We watch that blue line is going to be below us here, which it is too far away, by the way. I can see this hooking down again. So this is this is what we wanted. So you, I said, no, we got to come down and do that. Now I'd prefer it to go below here and then come up and this one turn red and all the rest stay green. That's what I'm preferring. Uh, it's much safer that way, but if we can't get there, then we won't. So let's take a look. See again, 15. This is five. Let me see the higher time frames real quick. Mm, negative on that. It went up and touched the 15 minute. That is perfect. 30 minute up. I don't like that hook down. One hour. See again, this is where. So we we've gone up. Hell, have we even retouched the 15 minute? Let me see negative okay so here's further this is what you got to see on the 15 minutes the five minute came over but it's going to come down and touch this red line and then either go up or my opinion it might even hook and come back down again later today so that's how i'd be reading that so in other words we haven't had the touch back on the 15 minute let alone the touch back on the 30 minute let alone the touch back on the one hour so it always goes in order it's going to pull back touch the 15 minute red line first then go up, and then it's going to pull back and touch the 30-minute later, then go up, and then tomorrow or someday it's going to come back down and touch the one hour and so on. If it's going to do the pullback up, that's how it works every time. My personal opinion, in, keep your cell stop in for the long term on the US 30 and all of them, NAS 100, SPX, and German 30. Keep that in place. And I'll, I'm going to re-clean up these charts when I'm done. It doesn't work on options chart, but I use the NAS 100, Spy to play SPX, and QQQ. Absolutely, Zane. What's up, Pablo? Yeah, uh, Tommy does. Ken does. They all use uh, the system. I do it. I'm playing. Well, I don't play the SQ. Well, technically, I am playing Spy when I'm doing the um, uh, the the NAS slash Spy uh, Spy over there on Nadex. Does system work for option trading? Yes, it does. So correct. Um, hello, any long term trade for Nasdaq? Uh, Lucy, for for long term play on NAS, yeah. If you're looking right here, you can see the long term play very easily. You're looking at this thing, which is shooting up, which can go all the way high up or near to that blue line. So you would have a, uh, uh, and you can see the four hour. So it's forming a four hour safety trade as you speak on the US 30 and the NAS. They're the same. So you put your sell stops underneath here for your long term trades. Uh, but in my opinion, this is just too effing crazy bad let me go over here hold on a second object list list all i don't know if you guys ever seen this before but this is how you clean your chart up with lines and delete and delete and see so you don't have to go through every one of them now all right and let's see if we got them all here. I think so. Beautiful. And now I'll show you where to put them on this thing. Let me take this one too. Uh, you go under object list, list all. And then we're going to take these off. And I'm going to come back over and I'll fill them in later. There's too many. And then this should take them off for all the charts, and I'll come back in and label them uh, off camera so you guys can see them later. There you go. All right. So fate for the NAS. You should put a sell stop in. Uh, let's see. Right, right here. And I would keep it there and rise it up as it goes up on the four-hour chart. 11,230-ish or somewhere thereabouts. Don't get caught in any kind of fake out where they come down and pull back up again. US 30 is going to be the same about approximate space. So it's be right underneath or just a little lower than that. I put it right here at 29,421. It's going to go up now. 
right? So that's what we're waiting for is this little upturn on your US 30, your upturn on your NAS. So short term, it has to go up to form the safety trade on the four hour. I hope you guys can see that now. I say it all the time, but I'm not sure you guys understand that. SPX, you can be a lot more aggressive SPX. I would jump that line. I'd keep it right here at 3,681. Your whole stop loss on that, even on a four hour chart, to about 50. <laughs> that's really nice. And again, we're going to keep going up. You can see Germany leading the way. Um, but I would still put my sell stop here and move it up as it goes. 1,000, I'm sorry, 12,198. But Germany is leading our way, usually does up or down. So yeah, this is the buy-in. You guys should be back in your trades or into trades anyway, especially on SPX. There's your German 30 heading to that one hour. So let me see if we have the German 30 going to the one hour. See, SPX is really far away. NAS is really far away. US 30 is really far away. I'm going to go ahead and do a short term little option right here. So I'm going back in my, I'm in the money again on the one and hold my own on the other. So there we go. We're going to go over to indices. I'm going to do, 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 do I wish they had the Germany. I do not know why they don't have the Germany here. Weekly. I'm going to do this daily on this one. We're going to do a buy. Negative. Right here is fine. And then it's going to place one in. Worst case scenario, again, I might make $20, $30 on each option. I might lose, you know, the same or about $10, $20 on those. Don't really care. Free trades now, spy on profit too. Oh, okay, cool. So Ken's making some money. Um, yeah, I believe we're, we should all be doing pretty well on those. I think we called those out a minute ago. Yeah, that was our ends. The NAS the same way. Yeah, NAS, you're definitely in the money on. Uh, SPY, again, absolutely have that going. And the Germ 30 is just leading the way. It ain't stopping. <laughs> um, I was up on my $2,000 account by 38% less than the safe trade. Awesome, Ken. I like Ken is down to the percentages. Me, I would say that's 40%. <laughs> um, awesome, Ken. That's great. Hello, any long-term trades? Yes. Morning, Kev. Good morning, old school. All right. So we have the long-term plays in. We have our buys in place currently. Um, I'll have to read you all those on later. And then on all your indices, short-term up, long-term down. Do not get confused on what's happening. The German 30 is way beyond its four-hour. The NAS is beyond its. You can see SPX is forming its safety trade. You can see the German 30 is forming its safety trade on the four-hour. Doesn't mean it's not going to go up. Absolutely does not mean that. If you look at the German 30 right now, actually, you can see this. what's happening is it's already gone up and just about touched, and it will go up and touch. Now, this is what's going to happen ultimately, just like they do on everything here. You're going to see price be below. It's going to come up, hook down, and retouch this one hour and go up. Before it hooks down and touches that, though, you're going to see it do it on the 30-minute, and then it's going to do it on the 15-minute. And then the five minute. And I think it just did its five minute right there. It did. Next stop is going to be the 30 minute, which it kind of did right there. No, not really. So yeah, it, I still see a hook back and then back up again, but we'll see. All right, guys, I'm going to call it for this morning. We have our long-term, short-term in for your indices. Just a couple plays on the other. They look like shit to me on most of those pairs. I think I only have a couple options going. Um, my options are in, uh, I'm in the money, by the way, on that odd USD minus one. Uh, and that's, I thought I had three going. Oh, I do. Uh, GBB USD and then the wall street 30 and that's it. So either we lose a few, gain a few, you know, whatever happens on the options, not too worried about it. They usually bounce out. I made, I think it was like three, $400 last week. It was a fantastic week for options for me. I don't play the big options like they do on Think and Swim and all that. I do Nadex little piddly options. And that's all I trade. All right, guys. We'll love to stay on and talk to you all morning, but I cannot, <laughs> will not, I'm too asleep. Um, but uh, if I can help you all with anything, uh gold what's up anthony we did gold but i can do it again for you all right let me see uh gold and then i'm gonna have to run and live life a little bit and i'll come back on somewhere around 
no later than like 920, 940. And knowing me, I'll probably jump on before then, but all right. Let's see gold for them. Gold, gold, gold. Yep, already went up and touched the one hour. Let's go back to the five minutes, see if there's any plays. I believe this was, was this the buy? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the fact how far away it is, though. But this is a buy stop on gold. We had a little buy line in here. Probably would have entered that trade at that point. But let me see what we got going on. Hit the one hour. Blew past the 30 minute. Blew past the 15 minute. Yeah, beautiful. Now, let's see. I think ultimately, though, we're still a sell. Boom. Look at that going up. Now, can gold go all the way back up and touch this? Not likely. I don't see it touching the four hour. It might. Again, I get you guys to the daily ones, and that's all I do. We got to the daily, but look, it's going to go up and touch the red line on the daily. So I would put your long-term sell stop on gold down here. 1657 is where I put it. And no one likes playing the long-term shut, so I don't know what to tell you. I already hit the one hour. I'm not touching it, and I'm done. So that's it. There's not really a play short-term unless you want to do a little buy stop right here and ride it up a little bit. That's fine. How far? I don't know because it's already passed all my indicators, so I can't tell you. See, that's way past this. Just crossing the 30, touching the one hour. I still say flip down eventually, but whatever. What do I know? All right. Um, Morning, Cliff. So far after seven days live. 21 out of 23 so far after seven days live. Do you know why you lost those two, Ken? If you can email me over those two losses, I'd like to see those to see how you read it and what time frame you were on. All right. So good morning, everybody, and good night, everybody. Ha. Huh? All right. I called out a few of them. I think we're in place for everything. <clears throat> Do not be surprised if your US 30 and all dip down to the blue line on the one minute. Do not be surprised in that at all. Um, before it comes up, if it comes up, this could be the start of a down. So do not, I mean. I've been calling, make sure you have your downs in place. If you already have the trades, make sure it's only SPX at this time of morning. Or if you want, you know, the German 30, you can't get into it, just shooting upright. The NAS maybe um, run that. I wouldn't touch US 30 at this time, not at this time. A little closer, yes, around 7, 7.30, whatever around there, sure. Right now, I'd be very leery. Dumb question, do I install the indicators or do at training? I do at training, Cliff, and not a dumb question. Um, oh, I don't look at time for confirmation and losses. Uh, yeah, that's true, Ken. I do the same thing. I think I know more than system two and I get fucked every time. Um, dumb question. You asked it. Yeah, I lost the two because I was stupid and thought I knew more than system. Right. The first trade only lost $7. Oh, that's cool. Beautiful, Ken. That's beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to end this because I have to mark everything. You guys uh, have a great morning. Hopefully these couple hours plan out the way we want it, preferably up on our industry short term and then long term down. Um, I think we're good. I'm going to go do some Wim Hof, do my breathing, uh, do my exercises, weight lift. I do my weight training in the mornings. Um, been fasting the last couple of days too, by the way. I don't know if you guys are into that, but I love fasting. Um, I think that's about all I know on the trading though. All right. I'm going to go ahead and kill the, the feed. Where is my little feed at here? Uh, there we go. <clears throat>